So a review from last chapter. What, what do these symbols mean? Absolute value. The definition of absolute value is what is absolute value? The distance a number is from zero on the number line. Exactly you said that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. So if I'm going to solve an absolute value equation, I have to write what? Two separate equations, right? So my first equation is going to be. My first equation is going to be up here. So everybody's got to look up here because it's not in your book. All right, so negative 6k equals 30. And what else? Negative 6k equals negative 30. Equals negative 30. All right. So then how am I going to go about solving these? Division. So divide by? Oh, negative, six. negative six. So k equals negative five. Negative five. Same thing over here. So divide by negative six. K equals positive five. All right. So number four then. Number four, my first equation, Talon. All right, so c minus 10 equals 3. What's my second equation? Equals negative 3, good. So the solution to my first one, Taylor, 13, good. We added 10 to both sides. So my second one, Jonah, Okay, so we're going to add our 10. Uh, no, negative. No, seven. Positive, positive 7. There you go. <laughs> I think you assumed what the answer was going to be, and then it didn't turn out that way. So, um, alright. Setting up number 5 is Christian. Plus three equals seven. Two k plus three equals negative seven. All right. So help me solving the first one is Blake. What's my first step? Subtract three. All right. So we're gonna subtract three. Two k equals four, and then what? Divide by two. K equals Good. Solving my second one for me, Kobe. First up, subtract 3. So I have 2k equals negative 10. Then what? Divide by 2. 2k equals negative 5. All right. So today when we do absolute value, it's going to be the exact same thing. But we have, we're going to have to put them together as compound inequalities. And those compound inequalities is what we did yesterday and the day before, right? Okay. So if I have a greater than or greater than or equal to, I'm going to end up with an or problem. Okay. If I have less than or less than or equal to, I'm going to end up with an and problem. All right, so let's talk about this. My first one, so just like when we did equations, my first one's going to be the exact same. So I'm going to have x is greater than or equal to 5. Okay. Not sure why some of us aren't writing this down. It will help you stay awake. It'll help you keep you keep you participating in what we're doing. All right. So now, since we said this is gonna be an or problem, or x. Now here's the deal. We know that before when we wrote these, my 
my number is going to become negative. What did we do with our inequality when we made it negative? Switch the sign. So we are going to switch this sign. So x is greater than or equal to 5, or x is less than or equal to negative 5. So open or close that 5. Close that 5, shaded to the right. Open or close that negative 5. Shaded to the Not so bad, right? So let's talk about the ends. We're going to have, what's my first one going to be? Well, what's my, what's my whole thing going to be? X is less than or equal to 8. And X is greater than or equal to negative 8. Okay, so open or closed at 8? Closed. Now if I look at, and then open or closed at negative 8? Closed. Now if I look at this, it's greater than or equal to negative 8. It's less than or equal to 8. Where should this be shaded? In the middle. Because we're talking about all the numbers in between those guys. So if we rewrote this, like we did yesterday, right? We got pretty good at writing these, hopefully. Okay, so x is in the middle. x is... less than or equal to 8. And greater than or equal to negative 8. So yesterday we practiced writing this guy x in the middle because today you're going to have to rewrite this with x in the middle. So you might want to write this so that you have an example of this in your notes for when you are doing your assignment. Alright, so let's take a look at number three. Okay, so if we look at the inequality symbol, is this going to be an and or an or? Or. Okay, so let's go, let's go back and look at what we have up top. Okay, is it a greater than or a less than symbol that you guys have on number, what are we on, number three? No, we're, on, we're doing number three. Okay. okay, but not everybody's there yet, so let's, let's talk about it. So is it a greater than or a less than symbol at number three? It's a greater than symbol, so according to this, if it's a greater than, is it going to be an and or an or? It's going to be an or. Alright, so number three, my first inequality that I'm going to write down is what? Okay, but what is it? x minus 1 is greater than 6. There's still some people not writing down, so make sure we're writing this down. And now, what word am I using? Or, or x minus 1. Alright, so when I solve this, Add my one, so x is greater than seven, or x is what is it? Less than negative five. So open or close at seven. Open, shade it to the right. Open or close at negative five. Shaded to the left. Okay, not so bad, right? Alright, let's take a look at number six. My 
first inequality that I'm going to write down, Sarah, is what? Good. Now, is this an and or an or? It's an or. So I've got a greater than symbol. Or my next inequality, Chuck. Is what happens if I make this a negative three? There you go. Less than or equal to. Negative three. All right. So, Rory, tell me how I'm going to solve this first one. Minus five. So I have two x greater than or equal to negative two. So x is greater than or equal to. Oh, careful. Negative 2 divided by 2 is going to give me negative 1. There you go. And solving the second one for us, Eden. Good. So I have 2x negative 8. Yep, so x is less than or equal to. This is an or, so open or close that negative one. Close, shaded to the right. Open or close that negative four. Shaded to the left. Good. All right. So now we really got to think back. Number seven, there's something very special about number seven. Can I go ahead and write my two inequalities right away? How, okay, so Jonah, you want me to solve this. How am I going to solve it? So you uh, add one. Alright, so we're going to add one to both sides, and I'm going to have the absolute value of x plus 3. Alright, so now that I have that, is my absolute value by itself? No. Sure it is, yep. Okay, so Lauren, what's my first inequality going to look like? X plus 3 is less than 6. Is this going to be an and or an or? This one's going to be an and. And Sam, what's my other one going to look like? It's going to look super similar to my first one. Good. All right, so solving this for us, RJ. All right, so we're going to minus 3, so x is less than 3. And minus 3, x is. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, time out. What did we do wrong? Find my mistake. Yeah, we didn't flip this second one. So this has to be x plus 3 is greater than. Oh, my, my eraser is not working. So this needs to be a greater than, right? Alright. Alright, so that makes more sense, right? So open or close that three. Open. Open or close that negative nine. Where is this one going to be shaded? In the middle. Now, if I have an and, I need to rewrite this inequality with the x in the middle. So the person that gets to try to do this today is Aiden. X in the middle. So 
Okay, so where do you want my greater than or less than signs? Tell me all here. So I've got x in the middle. On right here, you want less than three, okay? So which way do you want this sign to point? Uh, gotta go the same direction as this one. So that's towards the left. It's left that way. Alright, so that's okay because I, I knew what you meant. So good job on that. Okay. Um, should we do one more or do you think you're good? Yeah. Good? Alright. So in that case, your assignment is.